What's up, Parmaniacs? Prostasis here, and this is going to be a quick tutorial um, to show you guys how to do scanning. Uh, I did want to give a quick shout out to Sit Tight in our public room. He asked about this, and uh, I went to go and pull a video for him and uh, realized I hadn't done this in six years, so I needed to update it. So, uh, first off, if you're wanting to do scanning, you're wanting to uh, try and find, you know, sites, whether it's people or, you know, sites, we're going to be mainly covering uh, like faction warfare sites and things like that. But this is kind of works for all of that stuff. Uh, first off, you're going to want to get a uh, probe launcher. It doesn't have to be, you know, the fancy one. It can just be whatever. Uh, I use Sisters Core Scanner probes because they're a little bit better, but you can use the normal ones. Keep in mind, this will all be based on your skills. The better your skills, the easier this stuff will be to scan down. Most sites are fairly easy, especially in Faction Warfare. Uh, some of them, not so much. In Faction Warfare, you mainly want this for rendezvous sites. Uh, and there's a few other things that you, you may want to scan down, but... Uh, that's, that's what I recommend. You can do this like in a basic arbitrator or something along those lines. Uh, this is my cloaky stealth bomber, which we're going to use to showcase this video because I'm going to be sitting in space for a long time. Well, not too long. All right. So first you want to get out in space, which we are. Uh, we're cloaks. We're going to decloak and then I'm going to drop probes. Uh, you're going to see them all around me here. And then I'm going to go to a safe, get off field real quick. And then I'll show you guys how to utilize these. Now, you're going to want to use these buttons down here. There's a couple different versions of it. You're going to want the probe scanner, which is here on the right. And then you're going to want the solar system map, which is right here. Those are the two things that you're going to need to make this work. All right, so we're cloaked up again. I don't have to worry about this. If you don't have a cloak, I recommend doing it right off a of station if you're going to be in low sec. And if you're in high sec, then it doesn't really matter. All right, so you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six red sites here. Now, those sites are also mirrored over here. So you can see scrolling in with the mouse uh, up and down will zoom you in and zoom you out. And then if you right click and hold, you can move the map around like this to see. Uh, and then they've added a nice new function since my last video where you can flip up and down like this by clicking these two buttons, which you're going to need here in a second. And then there's a couple different formations down here. I use the pinpoint formation here on the left. Uh, you used to have to do that all manually. They've made this very, very easy. So what I recommend doing is find a big cluster like this. Uh, we're going to kick it up to eight AUs. That's eight astronomical units or distances from the sun to us. It's a standard unit of measurement. And then we're going to just make sure that this bubble is kind of in the middle of this. So you can click on this little white box here and that will allow you to move it or you can use the little arrows, click and hold and move it that way. So you can see right here, we're kind of in the middle of this. We're going to have some of them. We're going to miss others. And then we're going to go ahead and click analyze. And then you're going to see they're going to first fly there, which is almost instantaneous. And then while they're flying there, you're going to see this little bar move across and that means it's scanning. And you're going to notice we reduced some of the sites here. So we instantly found a rendezvous site for Amar. That's not the one we want if you're Amar. If you were Mimitar, that's exactly what you want. Um, and that's discovered. So some of those sites are really easy. Uh, you'll see that this cosmic signature is now at 20.8%, so that's a little bit easier to find. And then you've got this one that's at 4%. Since these are not discovered, like this one is, you can't warp to them yet, but I can now warp to this rendezvous site if I want to. So we're going to go ahead and try and knock out this 20% one. So we're going to zoom in in a little bit, and you'll notice when you click on these, there's a little highlight that moves around so you can tell which point you're looking at. So we're going to do the 20 I'm going to move this square to right here. So it's now it's in the center and then we're going to flip it and you can see we're a little below. So we're going to come up and then I'm going to click over here and we're going to reduce the size to four AU. So now we're pretty much right on top of it for the most part, maybe a little to the right. Okay. So we're at 30% now going to rescan. Sorry, 36%. No, that's the AU 20%. I'm a professional guys promise. Yeah. All right, rescanned, and now you can see we're at 42%. Now you can see this is a combat site. If you don't care about um, combat sites, then you don't have to, you know, you can just right click and ignore this, and that will now go away, and you won't have to worry about that anymore. Um, if you do want to scan it down, you just continue to reiterate on the process. So we're going to reshape, we're going to drop down to two, we're at 42%. This should put us up around 60 to 70 probes are moving. Now we're getting the scan as it goes across. And boom, 
now we know it is a rogue drone infestation. We're up to 83%. We're going to zoom in a little bit further, make sure we're still on top of it. We're a little off. There we go. So we've moved it, flip it. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to 1AU, analyze. Now keep in mind, as long as you stay logged in, so as long as you don't log out, you will remember these sites. However, the second that you log out, these sites will now disappear. Now what you can do is you can right click on them and you can save location and this will give you the option to save that location. Now, if you're gonna be roaming through like wormhole space, um, you may wanna just do the expires in three hours or two days. If you're gonna be doing it in space like this, you may wanna remember these forever because the nice thing about it is once these sites drop off, they make good deep safe sometimes. Not always, like these are all kind of centered around the center of the planet, but you know, this one's pretty far off the plane of the ecliptic. It's up and above, and that's not a bad safe that you might want. And it would give you a location to save, and like maybe you scanned this one down, and then you could go between the two. You can do a lot of stuff like that. You can set it to never expire, you can set it to expire in two days, or you can set it to expire in three hours. It kind of depends on what you want to do. Either way, this uh, is a really solid way to do the scan. You can see we now have the rogue drone infestation maxed out, so we can easily warp to it if we so chose. And that's basically all there is to scanning. Um, some of the sites are going to be more hard or more difficult as you go through. So, you know, some of the data and relic sites might be very challenging or impossible based on your skills, your equipment. There are rigs that you can get that will make things easier. Uh, but for the basics of this uh, tutorial we're just going to look at mainly the faction warfare easier sites but if you're having a hard time scanning things down you may want to try using better probes you may want to try and get a few of the gravimetric rigs to make your you know scan resolution and things like that a little bit better or you might want to try and bump up your scan related skills all of those will make it sc the scanning process easier faster um and if you're in low sector zero zero and less risky that being said that's pretty much all there is to scanning it's a lot easier than it used to be back in the day back in the day it was really challenging um you had to do a lot of different stuff and it, it they've made it over the years they've iterated on this and made it significantly easier but anyways that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below uh, hit that like button if you like this video or found it helpful subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future tutorials and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.